ask Tom on home show. Richie from West Chase has a question about a fizzy frustration. Well, and it's his foundation, and it's happening in a 45-year-old house in the bedroom. Tom, this is what he's looking at. Not pretty. It's not good. He says, I'm finding this dampness under the carpet when it's super humid outside and can make the carpet a little damp in one corner. And when I pulled the carpet back, there is a fair amount of efflorescence. And the carport also has signs of this coming up through the high, high line cracks in the concrete. Is there a sealant, Tom, that Richie can use that would prevent the moisture from coming to the surface? Is that the solution to this? He's got a water issue, some kind of drainage issue. He's got some water under there. The reason he says he, he notices it when it's humid out is because for all practical purposes, that's mold. And mold activates when it gets real humid and it starts to give off a scent. And I'm sure he's smelling it in there and it's growing on that padding and the carpet. And, and you look around the, uh, the, tax, uh, the tax strips that the carpet is put down on, you can see it's just rotted away. The mold is just eaten away through it. So he's got a serious issue. It's not a matter of just cleaning it up and putting a ceiling on top, a sealer on top. He's got water that's crawling and migrating up under that slab somehow. It could be a broken plumbing pipe. It could be just a drainage issue. I suspect the way it looks, it's a drainage issue in his yard that has to be addressed. And it's not some little fix by any means. This is, this is pretty bad. I, this is the kind of thing that people talk about, oh, I got a water leak in my house and I cleaned it up the day later. We got it fixed. Oh, I'm afraid of mold. You're not afraid of mold with that. When you start getting something like this that festers and festers and you have different products like carpet padding, the backing of the carpet, you have the tack strips on there, you've got the baseboard, which is wood, all this stuff. And I don't know what's happening behind the sheetrock, but I kind of see a little faint line down there. I think he's got a moisture issue he really has to address and all that stuff needs to be taken out and cleaned up real well before he puts it back together. Is there a sealant that you seal on top of a concrete to keep water from coming through? The answer is no. You have to stop it from where it's coming through. You can't just ironclad the top of it and it all gets to the top and just sits there. It's going to come, it's going to find a way up no matter where it goes. Water is very fluid, I guess is the best way to put it. It's going to mm -hmm. find a way to the top. Yeah, and, and it's way back to the ocean. But so th when you see something like this, it's not, not something that's going to get better. You, you've got to get after no. this because if anything, Tom, I imagine it's going to get worse and worse. Um, this has as, been there a while. This is yeah. not something that's not new. This probably was, should have been or met, might have been noticed, or it could have been one of those rooms nobody ever goes in in their home anymore, and then they go in once a year and all of a sudden find, ooh, what was this? And it's been going on a long time. But this is not something that just happened overnight. But the humid part would activate the smells and the scent, and then you would start picking it up thinking, hey, there's a problem, and then looking for it. Do you have a question? Tom can help you out just like that. Go click over there on the Ask Tom button. It'll take you to this page where you can then enter your questions and we'll be happy to help you. You can send us pictures and videos and anything else you think that will help. And Tom will answer your question. We post a new one of these every day at homeshowradio.com. And then we put them on our Facebook page and add them to our YouTube channel as well.